You really only have to go back about 50 years and you'll find that the British machines reigned supreme. And it was the Japanese who were the new kids on the block. Man, oh man, how all of that's changed since what we have come to affectionately know as a universal Japanese motorcycle. Fast forward to the late 90s and it's the Chinese's turn. And like those early Japanese machines, the early Chinese machines of the 90s were good from far, but far from good. Well, that's all changed. And the bikes coming out of CF Moto's Chinese factory certainly prove it. CF Moto is China's largest exporter of ATVs. And the brand's been in Australia for about 10 years now. The company has sold roughly 15,000 vehicles in Australia in that time. And approximately one third of them are motorbikes. CF Moto's NK range is the result of a cooperation between CF Moto and KTM in 2012. CF Moto assembles KTM small capacity Dukes for the Chinese domestic market. And it was through this relationship that KTM introduced CF Moto to Kiska Design, who's the company behind all of KTM's designs since the early 90s. So Kiska worked with CF Moto to design its 150cc NK and more recently restyling the 650 NK. In this Wiley X bike test, we take a look at the CF Moto 650 NK ABS. CF Moto produces two variants of the 650 NK and the difference between them is the ABS brakes. I spent quite a bit of time on the CF Moto 650 NK in mixed settings commuting, touring and wet weather. All up, we put about a thousand k's on the bike and really, there's a lot to like. In a later episode, we take the 650 NK on tour with two open class naked bikes where it held its own in twists and on the open road. It impressed all three riders. The engine is a 650cc fuel injected parallel twin which competes pretty well on performance in its class. It gets off the line well, and it's a fairly torquey motor, so it's pretty easy to ride around town. The gearing is a little bit taller than some of the other machines in the category, but if you stick it out past 5,000 revs, it'll reward you. With its 62 newtons at 7,000 and 55 horses at 9,500 revs. The 650NK provides neutral handling, and it executes most low speed manoeuvres with ease. Obviously, at such a great price point, there will be a few compromises on the CF Moto, but really, they get a lot of points because there's some top quality components on this bike, like Bosch fuel injection, KYB suspension, Continental ABS, J1 brakes, and fairly decent rubber from CST, which is Maxxis. The J1 brakes provide solid stopping performance, and ABS works well, so you can really mash on that front lever. At times, you really need to, because the feeling through the lever could be better. The points go to CF Moto for minimising it with braided brake lines, and both brake and clutch levers are adjustable too. Up front, there's two 300mm discs with two piston calipers, and a 240mm disc with a single piston caliper at the rear. The suspension package is pretty good for all round riding and standard fare on most of the 650 learners. It's quite basic with some minor adjustment in the rear shock, but it's done its work admirably throughout the time the bike's been in for testing. Really, the only thing this bike's missing compared to a few of the other premium bikes in the segment is a slipper clutch. And the other thing I really want to talk about is the style. It's amazing. You wouldn't be surprised to see a Japanese or European logo on the tank. If this was CF Moto's design brief for Kiska, they've done a great job. It's touches like the cool and comprehensive instruments, the front brake master cylinder, underslung muffler, tank and radiator shrouds, LED indicators, headlight, tail light, and spoke wheels, which make the CF Moto not only fit in with the crowd, but stand out too. So what are the negatives? Well, compared to the 650 learners from Japan and Europe, there's still a little way to go refining the motorcycle's minor details. I think the biggest step forward could be made through improving the feel in the front brake lever and the seat could do with a little bit more padding. The gear shifter could feel a little bit more positive too, but really, that's it. CF Moto's Australian distributor, Mojo Motorcycles, provide great after-sales support. 
They sell around 4,000 vehicles per year and service over 100 dealers nationally. So really there's a great chance that there'll be a CF Moto dealer near you. So the price for this 650 NK ABS is about six and a half grand. You can save about 500 bucks if you wanted to go with that uh, non-ABS model, but we wouldn't really recommend that. Uh, all up, this represents probably one of the greatest buys in Australian motorcycling. There's just so much value right here. CF Moto 650 NK offers practically everything else its competitors do. And while it may not be as refined, it's a huge leap forward for the Chinese manufacturer. And I reckon if things keep going the way they are, it won't be long until they're considered the new norm.